Hello and welcome to WASP 3D Feature Tutorial. The following tutorial covers, check and set variable control actions. Check variable control action, acts as a gateway to the next set of actions in the stack. If the applied condition stands true, it allows the execution of actions, else, skip them. Set variable control action, is used to set the value of a variable. For this tutorial, we shall use a pre-made button scene, home scene. Refer to WASP by control actions and playlist add-in tutorial for scene functionality up till now. As we can observe, every time we tap on a button, it plays its respective template. This happens, even if template is already played. We want, that if the template is already played, and presenter taps on same button again, nothing should happen. To correct this, we will use check and set variables. Press F8, to go to variable sheet, and create a W integer variable. Press F2, to rename. As we have five buttons in the scene, we would need five variables, one for each button. Press F9 to go to Hierarchy Pool, and select button 1. Now, go to On Gesture, Events. We already have few actions in the stack. Search for Check Variable. Select variable 1, then check tap 1, as the target. In default case, we will select the operator and assign a constant value. So, if the value of selected variable will be 1, it will perform the actions in stacks, else it will ignore the actions followed by check variable. Here, we have moved the check variable control action on the top, as it will only check the actions followed by it. Now play and check. As value of variable is zero, nothing will happen on clicking the button. We will change it to 1, and tap on the button to check. Next, on button tap, we will set the variable value to 0. So that once the template is played, button should become inactive until it is reset. Now, go to button gesture and add set variable control, to set value to 0. Play and check. Here, the value is 1 and will turn to 0, when the button is clicked. We notice, when variable value is 0, nothing will happen on tap. Now, we will reset the value to 1 again, on down swipe, so that user can enter template again, after going back to home page.
Play and check. We will do this for all the buttons. Now, check variable for button 2. Set variable to 0 at the end. Similarly, add check and set variable for remaining three buttons. Play and check. But before that, set value of all variable to 1. Go to down swipe gesture to reset the values of all variables to 1, which turns all buttons to active state. Similarly, set value of all variables to 1 on scene queue, to make all scenes active for the first time. Now, press F9, to go to Hierarchy Pool, right-click on the scene graph, and select on scene queue.
Save scene and launch Wasp I Mimosa to check. Now, load the instance. Wait for a few seconds, to load all templates. <laughs> 